MARS is an acronym. It means Mercenary Assault Recon Squad. And it reminded me of fear, first encounter assault recon. Because anything ending in AR needs to mean assault recon. Right, so why a Mars review? Well, in all honesty, I applied and the devs gave me a key. This isn't a back for blood case. I'm in one of those little reviewer circles now and they called me an influencer. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, what is Mars? The closest comparison I can think of is something like Warface, but it's a lot easier. It's got PvE, PvP, a point store and some fun multiplayer. All of the freemium trimmings and none of the pitfalls. So let's get into it. Now, do you want to give a disclaimer? Though I wasn't paid for this in any way, I still feel I should point out that this isn't a game I would usually go for. I signed up to it not even knowing what it was and I'm giving this information freely due to the game being in beta or an early access build. As such, we did receive a few good starter items and build up because the point store was actually not in use at the moment, there was none of the premium currency. This however won't impact the final game or the results. And as I stated, since it is an early access beta build of the game, if you do pick it up then be warned, changes can and will be freely made. To this, it means that everything is subject to change and I will have to update this review in the future. Which I will do. Everybody, please meet the Power Tool, aka The Drill. We're going to start with my specs and then move on to the games. We were running the i7 7700K GTX 1080 and 32GB of RAM. Now if you recall I did say this game was a bit easier to access and that's because Mars boasts some impressive system specs for 2014. That being said, if Among Us has actually taught us anything it's that good graphics don't exactly make a good game. Now I want to draw your attention to something here. On your screen right now you're going to have the system specs. These are the specs in accordance with Super Games page on the game. Let this sink in because I've got two questions. How vague can that CPU be? Intel Core i5. What generation? When did hard drive space become a factor in performance? I hate to be the harbinger of bad news, but you, you download the game and that's it. There is no option for a high resolution texture pack there, and there's no option to download one on the game's page. This may be a future release or something that's going to come with the full game, but at the time, right now, it's missing. And the game's actually 11 gigabytes, and I want to just quickly bundle performance in here. No issues, no crashes, no stars. An actual welcome surprise for a beta game, but a surprise nonetheless. Premise, yes, this is another premise game. Mars is interesting. It's uh, the year 20 something, and there's a war between man and mechanically augmented man. The augmented soldiers, known as Unita, have been creating little wars here and there and just generally not being nice people. As such, the League of Nations create the NRC, insect based robots with galaxy brain intellects to help them fight. The robots, however, somehow manage to get some form of sentience and go rogue. Who doesn't love a three way? Anyway, you're the FNG, or as it's also known, the fucking new guy. You're at war with Unita and these robots. It's a typical Sunday in 20XX, am I right, guys? Anyway, we're going to be diverging into the gameplay. There's really not much to say about the premise and story right now. Now, we talk about gameplay, we're going to talk about two separate categories here. There's the PvP and the PvE. Now, the PvP sees you sit fighting actual people and bots if there aren't enough people. PvE sees you fighting with people against the bots in sort of multi-stage arenas. So, let's start with the PvP. So, for the uninitiated out there, PvP means player versus player. And this is actually where the fun begins. I've only had a chance to play sort of quick play matches. You need to be like level 15 to play the ranked. And I'm definitely not making it to the end of this closed beta anywhere close to level 15. I'll tell you that right now. Now, you do get a nice selection of maps. And honestly, they are pretty balanced. They do straddle that fine line between what can be considered fun and balanced. And how do they do it? Simple. The map is basically a mirror. A little bit of deviation here and there, but mirror nonetheless, which does make it good. One side is made a fun and then they just mirror the fun it's balanced it's really great like that. now the game does take influence from call of duty and counter-strike from what the developers say and that can be felt in the map design in mars it does manage to take the simplicity of a counter-strike map and all the fun of a call of duty map and blend them pretty well the game also does kind of seem to have smaller influences from arena style games announcing doubles triples quads and even pentakills after a while it just starts screaming dominating and that's when i knew something was afoot this might be a free and easy to play game that's a third person shooter but matches can be littered with bots i honestly do regret asking to be honest i just thought i was really good at the game and it turns out i'm just killing the ai now let's not get discouraged though because i'm playing a closed beta there could be about 5,000 players worldwide at the moment and they're all higher than me they're not going to be playing the quick match they're going to be playing ranked when this game launches i know straight i'm getting turned into double cream Overall, PvP is fun and it's clear cut and dry who'll win after about 30 seconds, but that doesn't mean you can't have fun trying to pull it back. I'm yet to actually do that though. PvE, your typical player versus environment or PvE is just broken down into what is classed as the story, 
and what I class as WTF arenas. When you played some of the story missions, I was just taken back as to just how bad some of the voice acting was and the direction was. Go! Find cover! Don't go any further. There are snipers all over that bridge. Help me take care of them. I thought it was pretty obvious I was reading off a script. That takes the piss. But also the scale of what's been done. For a free game on only the PC, it lays down some impressive set pieces, let's be honest here. Granted, most of the story I played is essentially a tutorial, but neither here nor there really is it. What actually got me was this random PvE event that I joined. Remember how I said about cybernetic humans, normal humans, and galaxy-brained robots? I never once mentioned ancient Egyptian cursed mummy zombies, did I? You should not have come here. This is my domain. Back off, ya spooky bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another game out there called the ZMR, or Zombies, Monsters, and Robots, AKA another fucking acronym. I won't lie, this was just a little thing that was told to me in the game's Discord server. It kinda seems like the developers all kinda came together or something and made this. There's more to it, I just haven't dug too far into it. Now I do digress, the PvE is fun, the separate arenas I was able to play in showed me that the team have experience in different locales and architecture types, which was really good. Now, granted, I was playing on easy, and dear god, it was easy. Even the final boss, that went down pretty easy, just aim at the head, fire, reload, keep going, keep going. I would like to play on a harder difficulty, but nobody wants to play with a level 7, even one with a 30 to 1 kill death ratio over 3 games on a 2 1 win loss ratio. The fucking audacity. Overall, my experience with the PvE is lacking, and that's no doubt from the short time that I got to play with this game, but for the short time I did get to play, I enjoyed it. So, for the overall gameplay, I'm just gonna summarize this, shall we not? The PvP is good. The PvE is also good. Mars is good. But we do need to address the premium side of the word freemium. You can unlock guns, and you can unlock attachments, and you can get all that good stuff. Or you can rent it. This is kind of good and bad in my opinion. Since you can use real money in the game, it boils down solely to skills, but skills can be outmatched sometimes by the better wallet. Now, granted, the balance there is also good. You start off with a very good machine gun that has very low recoil and very low damage, but it gets the job done. I bought the AK and it kicks like a mule and it hits just as hard. That's good. If all the guns had absolutely no recoil, you could just buy the best gun, make the money with the time you have before it expires, and then rebuy it again. Surprisingly, I found the starting weapon perfect. It was perfectly fine. Rate of fire, great. Recoil, manageable, spread, good. The damage output was perfect. Damage was even regional with a sniper rifle, two body shots, or one headshot, and that spells curtains. Now, the idea of renting weapons is good as well, in my opinion, because it means... If you've got fat stacks in the bank, or you sweat like a pig, you will eventually get reset anyway. All your unlocks are no more. Whether you purchased it for 3 days, 7 days, or 30 days, it all goes away in the end. This also goes for the upgrades, scopes, barrels, magazines, all unlockables. They can be rented, but they do also get reset. It's actually pretty good. The reason I say it's bad though, is that you will have someone with fat stacks who may have played this beta, who knows the good gun. There's not a limit. No level cap on weapons. You can just buy the best gun at level 1. You can rent it, really, actually. So if you're a god at the game, you just became better. And if you're crap at the game, you just became reliant on your wallet to help you level. It does ultimately kind of remove skill, but for a free-to-play game, I do understand. That's the thing. I understand the monetary value in that. Now, granted, it could have just been cosmetics, but the more ways to monetize your free-to-play game, the more money you're due to make. And I can't really argue with that, so I won't. It's just the nature of gaming in 2021. So here are my final thoughts. There's absolutely no scores and that's an absolute shocker, I know, but I don't have much to go off of and it is great fun and it works well. All mechanics in place and they're ready to rock, but it's just a beta. Subject to change, all that. I could go ahead and rate this game. I could give it a 5. When the full game comes out, it could be a 10. Or I could give it a 10 and it could be a 5. Given my experience rating early access games and beta games from lesser known developers and such, I wouldn't risk it, but The Forest was a good game regardless. In three years time, I don't want to be giving you a fifth iteration of this review, so we'll come back to it when it actually comes out as a full release. There'll be more information, I'll have more knowledge and a better understanding of what's going on. So until then, if you can manage to get into any upcoming beta test with this, I do recommend you do. Honestly, the game is a great time killer.
it actually kind of made me nostalgic. It reminded me of playing like old games on Edgy and G Potato, games like, you know, Drift City, Guns the Duel, Fly FF. The fact that the game has a cover-based system as well, it really does make me think that I'm playing Rainbow Six Vegas and that's one of my favourite games. I can see myself sinking an awful lot of time into this game, just kitting around, having fun, streaming it. It's, it's going to be one of those games, I can feel it, guaranteed. And kind of took me back to a simpler time when I was in high school, just sitting, relaxing with mates, trying to play games with, you know, them and my brother. It was simple, where all I wanted to do was have fun, and still do. The only difference is I have learned that I can enjoy games alone, and Mars just joined that list. So until then guys, just keep your eyes open on Steam, as this game will be on Steam, and also keep your eyes on the Super Games homepage, because you'll see it there as well. Until then guys, I'm not going to tell you to do the like, comment, subscribe, that's all, boo, but enjoy the rest of your night.